Hey, what's up guys? Otto here. Today, I want to clean up this, our landing screen. This doesn't really look too nice. So let's build this up and then let's add a log out button so the user can log out and we can finalize this registration system that we built. So here's our workflow. We got the screen over here. We have our code here and we're going to go down to the landing landing section landing screen yeah and so instead of just showing a text what we're going to do is wrap that with a scaffold yeah there it is and we're going to change ch child to body save that okay now we have this ugly text on top and in order to get that into the middle what we can do is wrap this with a center so click this little button here, center, wrap with center, save. Now we have the text right here in the middle. Okay, so I wanna add a logout button right under this text. To do that, we need to add a column. So right here in center, click on center, click this light bulb. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap this with a column. And I don't see why column is not popping up. There it goes, wrap with column. And now if we save, um, the text went up here to the top again. And the reason for that is we have to add um, a property that column has, which is main access alignment. And then we'll type in main access alignment dot center, save, and it puts it in the middle. So next up, we want to add a button. We click this right under the center and text widget and we type in flat button icon well on pressed we will create that and icon we'll type in icons icon icons dot and like a logout let's see if they have like a logout icon no they don't something uh Maybe send, how about send, there you go. And a label, we'll do text, log out. It's our log out button that doesn't do anything yet. So we need to add some, a function inside our on press to do something for us to get logged out. Okay, let's add the functionality to the button uh, on press. So what we're gonna do now is we need to add shared preferences. We need to access the shared preference. We need to set the token as null. And then we need to navigate out of the landing screen. So to do that, uh, let's, let's look at some example code that we already implemented that is gonna do just that. So right here actually, in uh, our login function, we have the code that we need, almost all of it and we, pull, we paste that right in there. And we get rid of this, we're not gonna parse any JSON here. And it's given us an error because we this function needs to be asynchronous, so we add async to that, and now the error went away. Uh, we're not gonna be saving parse, we're going to be saving this as null. So we want to set this as null when the user clicks it, and that means we don't have a token, that means we don't automatically log in. And then once that happens, we want to navigate, um, navigator dot pushed named. And the route name we want to go to would be the login or the register screen, depending on your preference. But we'll go ahead and do the login uh, dot, which I think is called the login section. Yeah, dot ID, save that. Now let's test the button. We should go to the login screen, the log login section. And here we are. And our token is set to null now. And then we would have to log it back in. All right, guys, that's it. This one was short and sweet. Next, we need to improve the logic on this login. And that's what we're gonna be doing next.